Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely time and enjoying the two catch cups that we have in GBL. I know a lot of you are probably not. It is a little bit frustrating, I must admit. But today I want to share with you guys a very strong, very solid team that I'm using in Little Catch Cup that doesn't require any Excels. It only needs a little bit of investment, a little bit of dust, and it's pretty easy to build. But I must warn you, you gotta have a lot of patience to play this cup because I think half my games went into timeout. It was insane. And this is this is a non-Excel team, by the way. So the fact that the games are going into overtime still, even with a non-Excel team, that's just uh, something to think about. And it's Little Cup. Yeah, these, uh, these games are taking forever. I'm gonna do something I've never done before. If I feel like a match is going on for too long, I might cut parts out of it. <laughs> I usually don't do this because I like to see like everything. But in this case, I mean, come on, how many body slams do you wanna see a Muriel throw? Or flying presses do you wanna see a Smeargle throw? It is, oh my God, these took forever. These matches are taking forever. And I've stopped playing all of my sets each day only because I just don't have the time to play these if uh, each set is going to take 25 minutes. So yeah, <laughs> just letting you guys know if you see a chunk of the match just taken out, that's why. But aside from that, I'm really happy to share with you guys this team because as I said, it's easy to build. I know most of you might not have the resources for a little catch cup. I know I don't. I've never built a Smeargle and I'm still really far away from building one. So. I don't know if I'll ever have one of these. Also Muril. Muril I could build because I have the excels for it, but that's just way too much Stardust for a one week cup. So the team I'm using is Cottony Lead, which is really easy to get. It's really cheap to build and it's decently bulky. So it's going to perform really well up against Muril and it is going to do well against that pesky Smeargle with Flying Press. You can see it here. We got it pretty low and yeah. Cottony, highly recommend it. The second Pokemon that I am using is Shadow Quagsire. Okay, this one I used an Elite TM on it to get Aqua Tail, but you can run it with Mud Bomb in place of the Aqua Tail. It's just really important to have that Sledge Bomb because I am using the Quagsire as a safe swap and a lot of the time it is going to draw out that Muril. So for the people who are running the Smeargle Muril Bronzor team, which is probably the most common team I've seen in Little Catch Cup, then this team that I'm using is going to do really well against that. You safe swap the Quagsire and the opponent is usually going to bring out the Muril because they don't want Quagsire aligned to Bronzor. But what they don't know is you have the Mandibuzz in the back and a lot of people won't call the Sledge Bomb, but recently they have been calling it a lot more and they've been shielding Muril. So keep that in mind. It will work with Mud Bomb, but I like Aqua Tail because of how spammy Aqua Tail is. It is a little cup and Quagsire is really squishy. In terms of replacements, if you don't have the Quagsire, then I would recommend, there's two Pokemon you can probably replace the Quagsire with. One would be the seal. Seal would actually draw the morale out and you would be doing neutral with the licks to the morale, but you won't have anything that will hit for neutral in, in terms of charged moves. So keep that in mind, but the seal could work in place of the quagsire as a safe swap. The other option, but then you'd have to invest excels, is either your own smeargle or your own morale. So if you don't have excels, I would probably recommend going for that seal. And the closer is of course going to be that Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz also has decent bulk in the little cup and it is going to take care of that Bronzor which your lead is going to be very weak to. And hopefully you can draw the Muril out with the second Pokemon that you have so that it's out of the way and Mandibuzz can sweep. I should say in the first couple of sets I do run it with Foul Play in place of Dark Pulse but I would recommend Dark Pulse over Foul Play. In the final set that I show in this video, I run it with Dark Pulse. It's so much better. In some situations, I just need a little bit of extra damage from that Dark-type move on the Bandabuzz. 
So I swap it out. The infographic that I have on the left shows Dark Pulse. Go with that move set. All right, I explained the team and the strategy. Let's see it in action now and let's take a look at some games. All right, up first, we're going to see that Merrill on the lead. This is a really good lead for us. And fun fact, Cottony can actually survive three body slams from this and still reach two seed bombs. I would, however, recommend building up to the grass knot so that you could potentially take a shield from your opponent. They're probably going to always shield even if it's just a seed bomb, but you will be able to reach two seed bombs up against the Marill. And if they choose to shield so that they could win the matchup on the lead, then that's fine because you can bring in whatever you have in the back and farm the Marill down, have energy for the Pokemon that they have left, and you will be in a good situation with that Marill out of the way. Now, in this case, my opponent swaps out a Marill into Smeargle, and I decide to stay in with my Cottony because I kind of need to damage it a lot, let's be honest, before I swap into my Quagsire because Smeargle is, it's bulky, and it's super spammy with those flying presses, so I tried to do as much damage as I could with my Cottony, and then I brought Quagsire into it. I should note that in this game, my opponent was running Shadow Ball on the Smeargle, and yes, Mandibuzz resists Shadow Ball. I could have brought Mandibuzz into Smeargle, but I thought maybe they would have Bronzor in the back. I was correct. That means I was able to save my Mandibuzz for the Bronzor, and Quagsire was able to handle Smeargle because Quagsire is spammier than Mandibuzz. Moving on to the next battle, we are going to see that Marill on the lead again. I'm gonna stay in this with my Cottony because Cottony is the best answer to Marill. Now I designed this team to actually do well against Smeargle lead with Marill in the back and Bronzor in the back. So it also works against Marill lead because Cottony absolutely destroys Marill. My opponent in this case decides to swap out into their Bronzor. I have the Mana Buzz for it. I'm gonna swap it in immediately. And sometimes you get lucky and they're not running a Steel type move. In this case, they are. So I am gonna have to take neutral damage from those. But in a lot of cases, they're running Payback and Psyshock both which Mandibuzz is going to resist. I let whatever they throw go because I want to save two shields for my Quagsire, which is the squishiest Pokemon I have on the team. I'm also considering the possibility that their final Pokemon would be Smeargle, and in that case, I absolutely need two shields for my Quagsire. I'm gonna go ahead and invest a shield here because I want to keep Quagsire healthy. Also, I can farm up extra energy before the Murrell can reach another move, throw the Sledge Bomb, take Murrell out, and now let's see what my opponent has in the back. I called it correctly. It's that Smeargle and it has the flying press. I just have to watch out and make sure my opponent doesn't catch any of these sludge bombs on their very low HP Bronzor in the back. I go for two sludge bombs. It's not enough to take the Smeargle out. So I bring in Mandibuzz. I go for a move. I didn't even realize that I had another foul play on Mandibuzz. I could have just taken the Bronzor out but I end up bringing my Quagsire back in, going for an Aqua Tail, and we still take that win. That's gonna be a 3-2 in this first set, and usually the losses that I'm getting are either very RPS, or my opponent just managed to get a lot of energy on their Smeargle, and they wipe my entire team out with it. <laughs> Speaking of Smeargle, we're gonna be up against one now, and you can see how well Cottony is going to perform against this. Now, Cottony is only going to be able to reach one move up against the Smeargle, so I like to go immediately for that Grass Knot as soon as I get it, and usually my opponent is going to go ahead and shield it. There's something here that I need to let you guys know that's really important. Cottony can only take three flying presses, and then you have to swap out, otherwise Smeargle is going to be able to farm you down with the Lock-Ons. And then once it farms the Cottony down after that third flying press, then you're not going to be able to handle that energy with your backline. The Smeargle is absolutely going to destroy you. So you have to swap out into Quagsire after taking the third flying press. Do not let them farm you down. And usually when you swap in that Quagsire, you're going to draw out Marill. In this case, I have a feeling my opponent's going to have that Bronzor in the back. I bring in Quagsire. My opponent brings in Marill because they don't want to bring the Bronzor into a Quagsire. I did manage to land a Sludge Bomb and an Aqua Tail on this Marill, get it into the red, and then I swap into Mandibuzz because I have to take it out with an Aerial Ace. 
Now all I have to do is hope that this Bronzor isn't going to be running a Steel type move because if it is, they might still be able to win against us. I need to land, I think, three foul plays to take this Bronzor out. It is so bulky. These are super effective moves and they're hitting as if they're neutral. Anyways, we're able to reach three foul plays. Thankfully, my opponent didn't have any Steel type moves on their Bronzor and we were able to take that win. Moving on to the next battle, we are going to be up against a seal on the lead, and I just have to watch out for those icy winds. I decide to shield up my Cottony because I want to keep it healthy. My opponent swaps out into Bronzor. Okay, perfect. We can bring our Mandibuzz in, and then if my opponent has anything else in the back, I should be able to handle it with the two Pokemon that I have left. I'm just going to go for those foul plays. It looks like my opponent is only going to be running that payback on this Bronzor. Maybe they're running Psyshock and payback, but of course they're going to go for that payback because it's going to do a little more damage. It's a little bit less resisted on Mana Buzz. My opponent doesn't let me take them out. They swap out into a Marill, and this is where I decide to bring in Quagsire because I kind of want to save that Cottony for the seal. The seal is going to be doing neutral damage with the Aqua Tails and the Icy Winds to Quagsire, and I figured that maybe Cottony and its fast move pressure would be better saved for the seal. I didn't want to shield anything on Quagsire because I want to save a shield in case the seal can get to an Icy Wind. They bring seal in against their Cottony, and I actually reach a second seed bomb. I'm able to take the seal out and they, they are switch locked here, so I can go for a foul play immediately. I can go for an aerial ace now up against the Morel, and this is going to take it out, and we're going to be able to take that win. Another really long, really bulky match. <laughs> Moving on to the next battle, we are going to see another Smeargle lead. For her people getting all these Smeargles, I was not expecting it to be this common, but it is. And unfortunately, we have to deal with it. So it's going to go for these flying presses up against my Cottony. We are resisting them. Again, I can only reach one move on Cottony, so I'm going to go for that Grass Knot. Hopefully they don't shield it, but of course, they always shield their Smeargle. And this is where I mess up. Remember what I said? Swap out after that third flying press. Otherwise, Smeargle is going to farm you down. Now Smeargle is absolutely going to destroy my entire team. He went ahead and uh, swapped out into a Shuckle, and I don't have any shields left because I had to go ahead and double shield my Quagsire. The Smeargle is still alive, and this Shuckle has Stone Edge. Stone Edge is going to be doing quite a decent amount of damage to our Shadow Quagsire. Again, it's resisted, but Shadow Quagsire is squishy, so it's gonna hurt. I'm gonna go for another Agotail up against our Shuckle, and they actually save it. That's so annoying. At least I'm going to be able to land a sledge bomb on this uh, Marill. But I don't think it's going to matter because Marill is still very healthy. That sledge bomb only does like half of its health. I, I really wish it was a one shot situation, but Marill is super bulky and we're not even going to be able to take it out with our Mandibuzz with the aerial aces. They even bring in Shuckle and they have a move loaded up on it. They're going to go for a rock blast and take our Mandibuzz out. I'm just going to go ahead and top left. I should have top left it earlier, honestly. <laughs> just wasting time at this point. Up next, we're going to see... Oh, look who it is. It's another Smeargle lead. Is anyone surprised? And can we guess what move it's running? Of course. Flying Press. Now, we've learned from the last game that I can only take three Flying Presses, and then I have to swap out here. Otherwise, my opponent is going to farm me down. I'm going to go for this Grass Knot and immediately swap this time into Quagsire. I'm going to go ahead and shield one Flying Press. I can do a little bit more Mud Shots before throwing the Aqua Tail to take the Smeargle out, but my opponent swaps out into Marill. It works every time. We're able to land a Sledge Bomb on the Marill, but they go ahead and they shield the next one. That's completely fine. I'm going to let the Aqua Tail go because I know that I can survive it. However, my opponent goes ahead and throws another move they take our Quagsire out. I should have gone for the Aqua Tail at least to get it a lot lower. My opponent's going to have that Bronzor in the back. Okay, let's see if I can win this. I am going to save the shield for a potential Flying Press from their Smeargle, which is still alive, by the way, or even an Aqua Tail from the Marill. going to skip a little bit. You know how this goes. We take the Bronzor out with our Mana Buzz, and 
the Smeargle comes back in, it's still in the yellow and a foul play is not even going to be enough to take the Smeargle out. And this is where I decided I needed Dark Pulse in place of foul play because Dark Pulse would have taken that Smeargle out. So they live, at least we're able to take the Merle out without them getting to a move. And then we're able to farm Smeargle down. The timer comes up, but we take that win. Moving on to the next battle, we're going to see that Marill on the lead, and this time my opponent swaps out into Smeargle. I would much rather stay in this matchup up against Smeargle with my Cottony than swap anything else into it because Smeargle is absolutely going to destroy and outpace what I have in the back. So I stay in and my opponent actually lets me land the move on Smeargle. We get it into the red and now we should be able to charm it down. They're going to bring that Marill back in. I thought I might be able to reach a seed bomb. Unfortunately, I'm not able to do it. And now I can bring Quagsire in, shield this first move, and I have to let one of these moves go, but I'm going to go ahead and double shield my Quagsire. I'm going to go for a sledge bomb up against this Marill. Hopefully they don't call it, but they call it. They go ahead and shield, so... It's uh, not looking like it's going to be good for me because this Merle is still very healthy. Go for an Aqua Tail here. I am able to reach another Sludge Bomb. This will land and get it into the red, but I am going to have to take a move from this Merle. I might have to take two moves. Nope, they swap out into a Bronzor. If they have a Steel type move, they might win this. But if they don't, I might have a chance. So I go for that first foul play and my opponent is running payback gonna go for another foul play and because they're running payback I'm gonna take advantage of this and build up to two moves before throwing my, my next foul play it's enough to take the bronzer out I have the aerial ace ready for the Marill, and this is going to take them out and give us the win that's gonna be a 4-1 with our cheap non-excel team going up against a bunch of fully excel teams and it's pretty much holding its own so if you have it maybe give it a go all right, so I have another set that I want to show you guys, but I think I might cut it down to just a couple of matches because these are really long. Anyways, in this next game, we are going to have a terrible lead of Bronzor, and I swap out into my Quagsire. We manage to draw out the Marill, but I go for that Sledge Bomb, and they actually call it. So in this case, if I had just gone for two baits up against Marill, then I would have had a chance to take it out because I'm going to go ahead and double shield my Quagsire, but they're going to be able to get to another move anyways. They're going to be able to take us out and that's going to be unfortunate for us because we used both of our shields and we still don't have alignment. So my opponent's going to bring that Bronzor back in and they have a Smeargle in the back. Smeargle is absolutely going to destroy our Mandibuzz that doesn't have any shields left. Moving on to the next match, we are going to see another Marill lead. You guys know how this is going to go, so I'm just going to skip through it really quickly because, yeah, it's kind of boring. So I managed to take a shield from them, and just as I am about to reach my next seed bomb, my opponent actually manages to catch it on a Mandibuzz. But my Cottony is still pretty decently healthy, so I stay in, and I try to do as much charm damage as I can, and I realize that I only need one more charm to take this Mandibuzz out, so I go ahead and I shield my Cottony. We're able to get it out of the way, and my opponent is going to have a Wooper in the back. I'm going to go ahead and no shield whatever this is. It's a Body Slam. It's going to hurt because it's a Shadow Wooper. I'm going to go ahead and shield the next Body Slam, and I'm just going to go for the Aerial Aces because I think I need two moves to take this out anyways. I go for a foul play on the, on the next move and I should be able to go for an aerial ace and the aerial ace will be enough to take this over out, but they catch it on their Marill. I'm okay with that because their Marill is still very healthy. I'm gonna bring Qu a Quagsire in now. I can take this body slam. We're able to farm the Marill down and then I can outpace to an Aqua Tail and take their Wooper out. GG's to our opponent. Props to the opponent for running Pokemon other than Bronzor and Smeargle. But anyways, moving on to the next battle, we're going to see that Marill on the lead and my opponent swaps into Smeargle. Of course, I have to stay in this with my Cottony. Gonna take the flying presses like a champ. They are resisted. And I am gonna go for that Grass Knot because I cannot reach another move. My opponent goes ahead and shields it. And at this point, I'm just gonna take another flying press and then swap into my Quagsire. I have to shield this flying press. It's 
probably going to do the most damage out of any move that my opponent is going to have on their team, assuming they have a Bronzor in the back. And my opponent is going to bring that Marill back in. I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb. It lands, and I think I have to bait on the next move in order to land another Sludge Bomb. Actually, I go for an Aqua Tail, but my opponent actually shields the Aqua Tail, so I'm going to be able to go for another one. And then my opponent's going to go ahead and farm me down. So I bring in my Cottony to take whatever move this is. I'm going to have to take a move on my Cottony and on my Mandibuzz because I let them get so much farm. But assuming that they have a Bronzor in the back, I might be in a good position. I'm going to go ahead and shield the Aqua Tail here because whatever Bronzor is going to throw is going to hurt less than the Aqua Tail. And let's just hope that this Bronzor doesn't have a Steel type move again. We're getting really lucky with the Bronzor is not having steel type moves. This one also has payback. So we're going to be good. I'm gonna go for that foul play. And at this point, actually I remember, this is where I decided I'm gonna put Dark Pulse on this Mandibuzz because I could have just taken that Bronzor out with the Dark Pulse in that instance. So yep, let's just go ahead and get rid of that foul play, put Dark Pulse on it, and hopefully it will perform better. Okay, now we've reached the final match of the video, and I've saved the best for last, guys, but I've also saved probably one of the longest Little Cup matches I have ever played. And guys, you'll see why this is special. It's because we are able to two shield flex against someone who is running a fully XL team, and not only that, we also go into overtime in this match as well, and I don't use any shields. To be fair, I do hard counter our opponent here, and that's the only reason why I was able to do this and not shield anything. It's because our opponent is completely walled by our team. They led Marill into our Cottony, and then they swapped out into a Bronzor, and the Bronzor, guess what, was also not running a steel type move, so I brought in Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz was comfortably able to take care of the Bronzor, but then they swap out into a Shuckle, and this time, the Shuckle is not running Stone Edge, so these Rock Blasts are barely doing any damage to her Quagsire. It looks like the Shuckle might be single moved. That's completely fine, completely understandable. It is a one week cup, and a lot of people probably don't want to put a second move on their Pokemon. They even swap Marill into Quagsire before we're able to take Shuckle out. We land a Sludge Bomb on the Marill, we take the Marill out, and we're going to be able to handle the Bronzor with our Mandibuzz. I can bring Cottony in, which is still in the yellow, up against the Shuckle and go for a Grass Knot. They don't have any shields left, so these are going to land. They're also going to hit for neutral because of Shuckle's rock typing. And then I can bring my Quagsire in before the Shuckle can farm our Cottony down and go for an Aqua Tail. Again, they have no shields left. We have two shields left. There's a timer and we take that win. But after that, I just decided I uh, want to take a break because those matches, again, were super long, especially that last one. That one was just crazy. That brings us to the end of our video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this long into the video, I truly appreciate you. If you guys like my content, please consider subscribing. Maybe leave a like. It helps me out so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.